sharing. Uh, Mariam just sent some experiences. She sent them too late. It's not quite uh, 30 minutes, 30, uh, 40, 45 minutes that she sent them. So they are still in French, and I'll be reading along. I'll be trans translating along as I read. Okay, the first experience is uh, that real side experience is that of uh, Jolie. Uh, Jolie is a wonderful uh, girl who's lady who has been having a lot of experiences and uh, we are graced with one again this weekend. In fact, it would have been last weekend, but uh, I would have uh, read it last weekend, but uh, we, 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 we closed very early. So, she says, whenever I sing the new, a door opens, and I can have experiences on the, on the real side. On this day, I did the new, and also read the study courses, and at night I was separated from my physical body and flew high. Soon I found myself in a forest with my brothers and sisters in chains. While I was undoing the chains, I was attacked by people welding spears. I assured them not to be terrified, as I heard a voice telling us not to be afraid. I turned and recognized uh, uh, Fubi Kwans, who said, Jolie, let's fly. So she flew together with her sisters, and soon uh, they were in front of her house, but her sisters were no longer uh, with them. She got into the house and found her physical body singing the new song. Uh, she had no wish to return to her body at the, at the moment, at that moment. She had a desire to see her mother and instantly saw her uh, sleeping with uh, something like uh, like gloves, and she had a bandage around her stomach. She had often complained of having body pains, so Jolie took uh, took away all these unwanted things uh, from her body. Then she again went to her bedroom and found her body still singing the new song. She then proceeded uh, to get her name on the uh, list. Uh, she, I think uh, she, she wanted to get her name on a list of artists that she she very much liked to be part of. And so she uh, she wrote her name on the uh, to be one of the one of the names in the, in, on the lists. And then returned to her room to find uh, Fobe Kwans uh, waiting for her. Fobe Kwans remarked that it seemed she was not in any hurry to return to her body, so uh, they could go on another adventure. So first they went to a place where she found she found some clothes, and uh, she says these clothes were the clothes uh, of the real guides. And uh, she told Fubikwans that uh, Reverend Zatas had already taken her there during the past week. So they, they went beside a body of water, which was green in color and uh, stagnant. Fubikwans told her later that She'll know the use of the of, of the body of water they, uh, that they had uh, just uh, 
uh, reached. So at the edge of the water, she saw some smallish people emerge. And then she extended her hand. Uh, she extended her hand. But Fobiquan stopped her by touching her uh, with what looked like a, a sword. And she, uh, he said, she should not take, uh, she should take care not to, uh, so that even the edge of her finger doesn't touch any of, of, of those uh, people emerging from the, from that uh, stagnant pool. Then one of the persons emerging from the water uh, sort of approached her by force. Uh, she stroked her uh, a little, but uh, Fubequans pre prevented her from falling into the green, greenish water. So this person uh, rolled back into the water and uh, was instantly transformed into a sheep. So Fubequans uh, told her that and that pool was the pool of reincarnation. So she returned home to find her body still singing the new song. And when she woke up in the morning, it was uh, 7 a.m. So she has said, talked about this uh, greenish stagnant pool, which for the ones uh, says is the pool of reincarnation. So, Ben, have you any comment on this? Uh, no, that was excellent, Charles. And again, if you can write that up for Ava, she'll make an image. And uh, yes, wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Go ahead. Is there more from Miriam? Yeah. There is a... Is this one still in the... I wrote down this one but during the day, so I really took time to transcribe it. And, and then Mariam sent this one when it was just about 30 minutes to at half past midnight or so late. So this, this other experience is that of, uh, of a new friend she calls uh, Eric. And uh, she was, uh, he was working in the company of uh, his mother. And uh, they, they, were like, they were engaged in a lively discussion. Then all of a sudden, they fell into a, a big hole. And then Eric started crying out, shouted out very force, rebels are task, Paul. Uh, and asked for their for their help, and in the in twinkle of an eye, uh, somebody came to 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 their rescue, and then when they were when they were safely out of the of this uh, this hole. Uh, Eric asked the person who had uh, helped to get them out. He said, but who are you? Uh, so the guy responded, he said, I'm, I'm Gopal Das. And uh, he was very much uh, filled with joy. So any comment on that, Dwayne? No, that's excellent, Charles. Keep going. Is there more? Yeah. Okay, and then uh, this one now is uh, rather, yeah, rather long. It's a uh, real sad experience of a uh, new friend called uh, Mike. And uh, in, the, in the real self experience, he found himself 
uh, before in front of a Catholic church. And uh, besides this church, there was a superb mansion uh, surrounded by very beautiful flowers. And then he, he, he told himself, uh, within, he said, uh, why does, uh, why does the real guide uh, take him back to his old religion? And then uh, suddenly, uh, the door of uh, the beautiful mansion he had seen opened and a bearded man uh, stood at the door. Mike just uh, thought within that this uh, must be Reba Zatas. And uh, He asked uh, for, for assurance, and the person said he was representative. Then he invited him uh, in. Then he, within the, the, the this uh, beautiful uh, this mansion, he found some new he found some new friends and uh, and three other guides, and uh, they gave him a, a a bouquet of flowers. Then they advised him to always to sing the new song and uh, uh, attend classes. So that is uh, Mike's experience. Yes, those were great. Uh, Tales from the Real Side, Charles. You could write a book. Yeah, Tales from the Real Side. <laughs> oh, that's a good title, Grand uh, Tales from the Real Side. I will not say tall tales, true tales. So, in uh, Mike's uh, second experience, he was in some kind of difficulties. And he had, he had been having some problems with a colleague who was envious of, of his posts and uh, who uh, openly expressed uh, hatred for him. So one, one morning when he arrived at work, uh, an inner inner voice uh, told him to sweep uh, to sweep uh, the floor of the of the of the office before uh, settling down so there was a young girl um, who was selling things outside and she 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 offered to help him uh, sweep, uh, clean the floor. And then Mike thought within him that it would, it would be a good idea to sing uh, the new song. So he started singing uh, while the, the, the young girl was uh, sweeping, uh, was sweeping the floor. And then at last he entered, uh, he went into the office. And a few minutes later, uh, this colleague who uh, detested him uh, openly, he came, he came around and told him, uh, he said, uh, Mike was, uh, was very strong and uh, uh, very uh, sort of unreachable by any means. So uh, this guy actually had uh, prepared some, done some magic, 
some some witchcraft that would have uh, inflicted some terrible illness on 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 my and uh, in the Congo it is a, a terrible uh, thing when uh, when they when they when they when this this spell is cast on you, it is called basu, and it's very very dangerous, very deadly. And uh, this is what his colleague prepared for him. If uh, he had not uh, thought of sweeping the floor, cleaning the floor before entering, it, it would have uh, affected him very. Adversely. So, um, on the night of the very day uh, of this experience, uh, a colleague called him by phone and informed him that his uh, his nemesis, this guy who hated him, was terribly ill. That uh, he was actually in some kind of uh, really uh, had been attacked by a very serious disease, and his, his uh, health and his life was even uncertain. So we see here how what this guy prepared for Mike returned to him. And uh, the next experience, uh, you bear with me because I'm just looking, at reading, and translating quickly. Uh, so it's not it's not very uh, it's not as coherent as uh, you would like it to be. So the the, the fourth experience or the third experience is that of uh, Deborah, uh, who lost uh, her grandmother. And she she loved her grandmother very much because uh, uh, her grandmother was instrumental in bringing her up. And she was very sad when she passed on because she would not uh, see her much beloved grandmother again. And uh, in this uh, state of sadness. She was consoled by her husband. And one day, uh, she, she decided to sing the new song and ask the real guys to see uh, her mother again, to see her, gr her grandmother again. And then this night, on, on that night, uh, she had an incredible experience. A real guide uh, appeared and told her to follow, uh, to follow him, and uh, took, uh, conducted her uh, to where her grandmother was. And then when they, when they, when they, when they, when they reached, when the, when her grandmother saw her arrive, she was very surprised to see her granddaughter. Uh, in the land of the dead. So Deborah was very happy, uh, was so happy that she, she, she started helping her grandmother to do some household uh, chores and uh, especially to cook food for, for her. So um, she, uh, Madam says she has had uh, uh, many of these kind of experiences where real guides have uh, uh, taken her uh, to to meet uh, her grandmother. 
Yeah. And uh, I think reading this experience, uh, I I call to mind my own uh, request that I made in a very dispassionate way. I asked the real guides to uh, to let me see the real state of my my father who passed on about a month ago. And uh, in this dream, in this real side experience. I, I went to where my father was living, in fact, she, he's actually living with uh, uh, my junior, my, my younger sister who passed on, uh, but earlier passed on, living in the same house. And um, when I arrived there, I proceeded, I just I was making uh, cup of uh, hot cocoa for myself and I asked my father I say papa you uh, I know that you like to to, uh, to have a cocoa a cup of uh, hot cocoa drink so would you like me to to do one for you so he he, he agreed and went outside to sit uh, bask the sun with my uh, younger sister while I was while I was doing the, the, the cocoa drink for him. So that is it. I actually in the support of uh, us to corroborate what uh, Deborah had had a similar experience and which assured me uh, the whereabouts of my father, and uh, in fact, he's, he's fine, he's living the, on the other side. And uh, if anybody thought that uh, he was lost out of life, then it's uh, they're mistaken because. Uh, Life continues on the other side, unseen, unnoticed by one dimensional, uh, dimensional people. So I think it's the same thing that, uh, the same experience that uh, Deborah went through. So, Dwayne, over to you. Yeah, well, that's great. Yes, thank you, Charles, for sharing. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, this should inspire people to, uh, you know, continue on. It's a big journey. So, uh, yes, that's wonderful. Always love to hear these things, whatever takes place. And, uh, again, noticing that as uh, people go to the real side or the other side, whatever, uh, you know, uh, for the most part, most people, part, people are doing what they've always done because that's all they know. And they're where they are because... Uh, it's not that just because you go to the other side, all of a sudden everything opens up for you. You still have that basic uh, consciousness through creation. So uh, until you decide to, uh, you know, explore and see more, uh, and it's all through your decision, well, things are still basically the same as they were on the earth. And yes, it's always uh, just a, a simply a transition, a continuation. And this is what most people don't get, and uh, you know, uh, accordingly. So, it's going to be according to your choices, your experience, your consciousness that you agree to, and especially, uh, uh, you know, the unconscious part of ourselves still there. Basically, that's the astral worlds, and uh, you're still at the mercy of your unconscious part. And so, again. Uh, but to relate from here to there, that's a simple way to do it. But you see the attitudes of the people when they're over there. They're basically the same because that's what they keep deciding. So, yes, thank you for sharing that, Charles. 